I started volunteering in high school going into college. The area that appealed to me most was this rising number of immigrant children coming into the country and not having enough resources to help support them. So I started helping with English as a second language and tutoring to young children out in Texas and just fell in love. Fell in love with the children, fell in love with the idea of giving back and I really started putting my heart into it from there. Missy Fernandez has over 16 years of dedicated service at Georgia Power and over 10 years of community leadership. And Misty has a unique skill to be bilingual. She uses this gift to help those that can't speak for themselves. I've been involved in CASA, which is a court-appointed special advocate, advocating for children who are victims of abuse and neglect. And I remember one case in particular of 13 children in one family uh, who were found in a motel. Right? The children weren't enrolled in school. The children had not had consistent meals. Uh, one young little boy had a birthday coming up. and His name was Juan, and he was seven years old. And I remember asking Juan what he wanted for his birthday. And he said he just wanted a home-cooked meal. Here's a seven-year-old who's not asking for a toy or a pair of tennis shoes. He's just wanting a home-cooked meal to remind him of home. So, When people think of Misty, she's a trusted source. She's very trustworthy. I think she's very approachable. So people feel connected, instantly connected with her. She has a lovely family. She's married to Gavino. She has three children, Gavino, Alejandro, and Marlena, who are the love of her life. My husband and I do a lot with our church, and we teach English as a second language to adult learners and, and children as well. well. One of our students came up to us after a few weeks of learning the English alphabet and learning the phonetics and the name of each letter, and she said, Misty, you'll never believe what happened to me yesterday. She said, I had to go to my son's school, and for the first time when someone asked me my name, I was able to spell it to them in English. And she said, you wouldn't believe how many years I've been struggling with saying my name. To see her moment of empowerment when she said I could spell my name in English and it made such a difference for her was really touching. She has made a huge impact, not only for herself personally, but for the company in reaching the Latino community. So the unspoken benefit of volunteering, aside from the difference that you see and that you make in the community, the unspoken benefit is what you get back and how you grow. So for me, the time that I've dedicated, especially in our underserved communities, makes me realize how fortunate we are, but also what immense obligation we have to be able to give some of that back. There's a quote that I love by a gentleman named James Keller. A candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. And so when I think about the times when I think I don't have the time or I think I don't have the energy, then I quickly remember that it doesn't take much to make a difference. She is committed to whatever she puts her mind to and she expects nothing in return.